Three values are drawn from a uniform distribution of 0 to 4. What is the probability that the median is greater than 3? We want to start by deconstructing this problem. First of all, we have to recognize what is the uniform distribution. The typical, you know, the default set of uniform distribution has a bound from 0 to 1. So on a continuous number range of 0 to 1, what this means is that you could have a value where if you, if you were to randomly draw a value from this uniform distribution, the value is going to lie between 0 and 1. So on one of the sample, it could be 0.5, another could be 0 0.6, 0 0.77, and so forth. In this case, the cutoff at the very far end is going to be 4. So now what this means is that if you were to draw, you know, let's just say some random value of x1, this is going to be, let's just say 0.1. And then if you were to draw another random value, let's just say it is going to be 3.4. And then another random value, it could be 3.9. Now, you have to ask yourself the following. What is a median of these three values, the x1, x2, and x3. And the median is going to be the middle number, right? And so the median of this is going to be 3.4. So this is an example of what we're looking for, right? Now, if we were to do thousands and ten thousands of simulations like this, right? How many of those outcomes are you going to have an instance where these three values have a median value that is greater than three, right? Let's kind of think about this a little bit more. What about this other type of outcome? So suppose that x1 is 0.5, x2 is 1.5, x3 is 3.5. What is the median value for this set? It is going to be 1.5, right? And in this particular instance, we have a failure case. This doesn't satisfy the, the condition we're looking for, which is that median is greater than 3. Now, how do we go about figuring this out analytically? The probability that the median is greater than 3. So let's first of all just think about a, a single random variable, right? What is the probability that value is going to be greater than 3 based on this uniform distribution of 0 to 4. It is going to be the probability that x is greater than 3 is going to be 1 fourth, right? I mean, let's just create a simple, um, you know, illustration right here, right? So we have a block where it's 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 4. Right? And we're looking for a value that lies in this particular region that covers up one fourth of this entire uh, range in this uniform distribution. Therefore, it's going to be one fourth. But now we have to figure out okay, so what is the probability that the median is going to be greater than three? And how do we go about thinking about that? Well, let's think about the logic of how we get a median that is greater than three it must mean that the middle number should always be greater than 3. And if the middle number is always greater than 3, think about what the next preceding value is. The next preceding value must be greater than 3. Therefore, the median of these three values is going to be, three, is going to be greater than 3. Another case could be that all three of these values are greater than 3. Therefore, the median value is greater than 3. So that gives you a lot of uh, useful insight there. So what this means is that in order to get a median value that's greater than 3, you have to have two values greater than 3, or you will have to have three values greater than 3. Okay, so we've deconstructed this problem. But now, how do we go about finding these individual probability? And we can use binomial distribution, right? Because 
in this particular instance, we're talking about two of the three values that you have randomly drawn from uniform distribution qualifies a condition where it's greater than three. And there's random combination in terms of how this outcome could happen. So you could express this using binomial probability. Well, what is the binomial probability in this case? The binomial probability is going to be x equals k and choose k, p raised to the power of k, 1 minus p, n minus k. What is n in this case? n is a number of trials. k is a number of successes. p is a number, is a probability of success. All right, so now let's use this binomial formula in order to figure out what is the probability that two of the three outcomes have a value where it's greater than three. And in order to express that, so we're gonna just express that as the following. So this means that out of those three outcomes in this case, we have two successes, right? And the probability of a single success in this case is going to be one fourth. And then we have two successes and the complement of that is gonna be three fourth. And the number of failures in this case, which is N minus K or three minus two, and that is going to be one. Now, when you simplify this particular term here, this is going to be equal to three times one fourth, um, actually, sorry, one over 16 times three fourth, which is going to equal three, which is going to equal nine times nine divided by 64. And for this second outcome, and for this second term here, the probability of the three, all three values being greater than three, that is going to be, that is going to be three choose three times one fourth raised to the power of three. And then because we don't have any failure case in this case, this is just gonna be one. And so when we simplify this, this comes out to be 1 over 64. Okay, so we found the second term. So all we need to do is just take the sum of this. And when we take the sum of this, 9 divided by 64 plus 1 divided by 64, this is going to equal 10 divided by 64. Simplifying this, this gives us 5 divided by 32. So this is the probability that when you draw uh, three values from this uniform distribution of zero to five, the median is greater than three.